once I get through Flagstaff, I'm gonna stop in Kingman, Arizona and get some Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> I know where all the Dunkin' Donuts stops are, so sorry, I'm a big coffee person. So I know a lot of people aren't, but you know, I'm a fan of coffee, sorry. Like, I was gonna stop in Dunkin' Donuts <laughs> and get my fix, you know what I'm saying? Look at this oversized load, you guys. Donkey Road. Alright, we are six hours from Herlong, California. I am delivering to a military base. Um, they stopped receiving at 2 p.m. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it for delivery today. Um, possibly tomorrow. We made it to the TAA in Sparks, Nevada, and they had a FUD Wreckers here, which I had never heard of. My buddy Carlos told me their food was amazing, so I had to try it. The burger was awesome, you guys. I wish I could have stayed there another night to have another burger, knowing my fat butt. <laughs> but uh, look at this scrumptious burger right here. I enjoyed it. It was really good. Uh, the people were really nice here. Um, wish I could have had it again. What's up guys? Ben Ben in bed. Huh? You in bed, Ben Ben? Got my new sheets on, my new bed on. What are you doing down there, Ziki? You got a nice pretty bed up here. Ziki? Okay, fine, don't look at me. Alright guys. They didn't have no detergent for sale. So I'm just washing my clothes with water. Gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. I didn't even think they had showers here, but I mean not showers, uh, the laundry room. I am at the TA in Sparks, um, Nevada. So I still got this load going to the military base in Herlong, California. I'm about an hour away. I am at the TA in Sparks, Nevada. I cleaned up my truck a little bit today. Did some laundry. And uh, now I'm about to call it a night. Just watching videos on my phone. You know, doing what I do. And um, we'll wake up tomorrow. Deliver this load. It is a military base. So I heard it is going to be a process. Give you background checks and stuff. Um, and uh, it takes a little while to get unloaded there, so I don't know if I'm gonna get a reload, so it kinda sucks. But um, we will see tomorrow. See ya. See ya, wouldn't wanna be ya. Oh, oh. Do I go night night, Ben Ben? Do I go night night? Yeah. Oh, you see me tonight. Alright you guys, good morning. We made it to the military base today. Um, I just brought them all my info at the check-in, uh, like the, the check-in area before you go into the actual military base. But I did not get approved to go onto the military base because I have a warrant for my arrest in Nebraska. <laughs> I'm a real outlaw. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, um, I had a warrant for my arrest in Nebraska for going into a weigh scale and not weighing. Um, so they gave me like a traffic ticket. Um, I was confused. It was nighttime. I didn't know what was going on. So I just went through the scale. I wasn't trying to run away. I wasn't doing it purposefully. Um, just saying. But I did end up paying that, that ticket. But I paid it late. So the court actually issued me another warrant. 
um, for my arrest because I paid it late and um, a $250 fine, which is what they're not letting me in this military base for. So, um, yeah. So, the cop came in. You can't record inside there, obviously, so I'm recording in my truck. But um, the cop came in. I waited like 40 minutes for my background check. The cop came in and he was like, Rebecca? I was like, yeah. <laughs> He's like, did you know you have a warrant for your arrest in Nebraska? I was like, uh-uh. And, um, so I had to, anyways, long story short, blah, 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 I'm horrible telling stories. I called the, I found the contact number for Nebraska court, and I called them and asked for, like, the citation number and everything. So, um, I'm gonna have to get that paid here today to be able to deliver this load, you guys. And um, they also said I could have another driver take my truck and deliver the load for me. But obviously, we would have to pay them money to do that. Um, but I am not too comfortable with doing that. You might as well just pay the warrant, right? Whoop. Um, and there wasn't any flatbed drivers out here when I first got here. It was just van drivers. So that really wouldn't have worked out too good for me. So, yeah. I just got to pay my warrant. And, um have the court fax it to them and then they should let me in and it wasn't too busy when I first got here but there was like two trucks two drive-in trucks in front of me when I first got here and now there are a bunch of trucks there's like three flatbeds on this side of me now there's three reefers over here so uh it's gonna be a long day folks long day give me that ball Give me that ball! <laughs> bam bam, give me that ball! Give me that! <laughs> Get the ball from him! Don't attack me! Alright, 101 Eagle, I just want to take a shout out to you and say thank you so much for these silverware that you gifted me and my family because they just came in clutch. I'm about to wash them off and um, I totally forgot that I had these. I was trying to cook me some ramen noodles, but I'm like, I can't eat my ramen noodles if I don't have a fork and a knife because I always cut my ramen noodles. I know I'm weird, but um, yeah, the dogs are going crazy right now. But I think I'm about to heat me up some ramen noodles and uh, grow while I wait for this morning to be paid. All right, guys, so I did not eat my ramen noodles yet. I decided I want to straighten my hair while I'm waiting. This is just some of the stuff that I do in my free time. My hair is a mess right now. So I'm just going to try to make myself look more presentable to these uh, military men. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm going to make myself look more presentable um, to be outside in the public. Um, so I'm about to straighten my hair. And um, while I'm waiting, this is just some of the things that we do as I'm a female truck driver sitting and waiting on our downtime <laughs> all right i'm about to rake <laughs> rake i'm about to make my rim noodles in my five-star kitchen you ready to see this crazy shit zeke you ready to see this go down huh you ready to see me make some mama noodles mm -hmm. yeah here hold on to your toy while i cook all right you already know, I got the beef, I got the beef. <laughs> Let's do this, see? Hey. <laughs> now we just waiting. This is Becca's episode of teaching y'all how to make the best bowl of ramen noodles you've ever tasted in your life. Let's go. Four minutes, people. Four minutes. But So I'm just going to clean my forks. And run. Hey! You don't bite that. That's my spoon. What the heck, man? That's metal. Or stainless steel. Whatever. 
All right, I usually dump out like half of the water, but I'm gonna keep it today because I feel like I'm gonna need some extra juices to drink because I'm gonna be really hungry sitting here for hours at this military base. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys how I'm about to make my five-star dinner right here. Hold on, bear with me, folks. Got you in my armpit right now. Look at that juice, look at that juice. Stir it, stir it some. I'm about to use my camping knife utensils that 101 Eagle sent me. Oh, are they cutting? Is it cutting it? Am I cutting it wrong? Come on, peoples. This is what happens when you get stuck on a military base. I don't think this. Actually, they asked me if I had a knife, and I said no. This isn't three inches, is it? Oh no. Oh no. I might be in trouble. What's up, guys? I <laughs> I successfully <laughs> delivered my load. Uh, sorry, I'm on the phone. I, somebody said a joke. Um, <laughs> I successfully delivered my load at the military base. I paid for the warrant and everything. Why does it? My ear like started popping. Um, fuck, I forgot what I was <laughs> And sorry about that. Uh, now I am ready to drive to Corning, California. I am three hours away, it says, but for a truck, it's probably gonna be about four, four and a half. Um, so I'm gonna get there around six, 6.30 p.m. Tonight, they got about three truck stops over there, so I got a couple to choose from. Give me some grub, you know what I'm saying? So I'm about to head out, and uh, I'm picking up, the load I'm picking up has two pickups, so this is gonna be different. This is my first time doing that. some pictures enjoy some of this nature I can't believe I'm seeing walls of snow this big this high it's the first time I've seen something like this so I am kind of shocked <laughs> so I had to stop and get a good look and then I'm about to head back out on the road to my pickup in Corning California this is 36 um, coming from Herlong, California. I think it turns into 89 if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Benji and Tweet waiting. I'm about to get back in the truck. Because I want to get there before dark off this road. What's up guys? I parked at the Petro in Corning, California. I'm about six miles from my pickup. Um, so I went in, got some dinner at the Iron Skillet. So now I'm about to head to sleep, get some Z's. We'll wake up in the morning, pick up my low, my first pick, and then I'm gonna head to my second pick over in Oregon. Let's go. Good night, guys. So always gotta say good mornings to mamas, huh? Always gotta say good mornings. Yeah. yeah. I love you. I love you. Yeah. Good morning. Now, Mama got to steer the wheel now. We got to get out the way. She go, we got to go to our first pickup, guys. Yeah. We 
gotta go. Good morning, guys. 6.30 a.m. here in California. About to pick up my load and corning at a lumber place, the Sierra Pacific. Some of y'all might know. Some of y'all fellow flatbedders. I'm about to, I got my Sunny D. I'm about to drink some of my Sunny D. And I got a little coffee this morning as well to start my day. Um, I usually get a little uh, protein bar, but they did not have my favorite protein bar here. So uh, let's get on the road, pick up this load. My first pickup. Let's go, guys. Give me a paw. motion <laughs> and today we are what my dad likes to call it living the American dream backwards huh guys huh <laughs> all right guys this is the load that I picked up from Sierra Pacific this is my first drop first pick I mean sorry um, so I'm about to get the strap in my I think my I believe my second stop is a tarp load so uh this is not my tarp pickup right here so got it easy right here so i'm gonna get the strapping because i'm a big trapper <laughs> Let's get it. Let's go on, hammer down. Get these loads delivered. Make that money. Make that money. This place is ridiculous. This is the only way out. Only one truck can fit. This is the second time I had to pull up to let somebody through here. And now there's two more trucks coming through. So, yeah. Pull up again. Wait for these two trucks to come by. This Roel guy just cut me off and went behind me. And I was in front of him. But it is what it is. People are gonna be assholes at the end of the day. Just gotta be the more patient one. Ain't that right, Zeke? Ain't that right? Shipping office, and they're about to close. So 
I was fourth with drivers in my lane. So the guy's acting like I did not have the right appointment number, um, a pickup number, I'm sorry. So, and he seems really upset because I got here like 30 minutes before they close. So I don't know if I'm gonna get loaded today for my second pick in Oregon. Um, also guys, it is my first um, time in Oregon also, so. This guy might come back and be like, that's the wrong appointment number and we're not loading you today. <laughs> we're close. <laughs> So I had to take all of my straps off, the straps off my tarps off, so they can move the load up forward. And um, they're situating the whole load, they're changing everything around. So I did take all my straps off, everything. I'm gonna have to roll them back up, re-throw them. <laughs> it's gonna be a hassle. But they are loading me today. We got the load number. So uh, that's the upside. We are getting loaded. Today, today. <laughs> so, I got my straps thrown and everything. Redid it all. I'm walking in this motion butt. Um, I tightened these straps, put them in the rollers, but I did not do these back to because I am about to open my tandems. I had them closed because I was in Cali. Uh, to be Cali legal. Oh my god, it's so muddy. So muddy. I'm gonna put it on up the slide. This is messed up, so Now my pin slid in go ahead and Pull forward so my tandem's open and uh, So I'm not overweight with this load Do this real quick and I can finish the last of my straps one thing I also forgot to watch out for, you want to make sure these are all out of the way of your tires. Cause when you drop the air in your trailer, they drop down your tires and they can pop your tires. So now I gotta wait for the air to build back up. This place is disgusting guys. Oh my God. This is ridiculous. Like put some concrete bro. Come on, man. All right, I'm all strapped down, I'm ready to roll. For some reason, my tandems will not open. That's gonna be a problem. I'm gonna have to figure that out. I tried it about 10 times, not sliding. So here goes another problem. is small as fuck back here. I cannot believe I am driving on this road right now. I feel like I'm in Sweden. <laughs> this is like sweet. <laughs> this is like sweet Sweden roads right here. Thank God my tandem did not open. Alright, so I found a little truck stop uh, after all those little small roads I was on. Get out! After like four hours and got a, no. some Lunchable dinner. What's up guys? Good morning! We are leaving this little Indian truck stop and heading out back on the road. I got 13 hours, 48 minutes left in my cycle, so I think I might be taking a 34 in Albuquerque. Yes, sir. Hey guys, what's up, little loves in Nevada? I'm about to go ahead and take a shower. Got my shower bag right here because I'm stinky again. So, uh, see you when I get back. All right, let's go, guys. Got my duffel bag full of stuff. Yes, sir. This is the trucker's favorite part of the day because after it, you feel awesome. <laughs> well, to me, at least. Woo, look at this truck. All 
Alright, so I just stopped at the Petro in Wells, Nevada to get Dunkin' Donuts specifically. And um, this girl just in front of me just ordered everything off the menu, so I feel like I'm going to be waiting here a really long time. She ordered like every single sandwich, a dozen donuts, like five drinks. <laughs> like, what the hell? Like, it makes me upset. Like, I wish they could just have like restaurants like just for truck drivers, like to where like normal people like from off the road, they can't come in. <laughs> like, that's what I be wishing sometimes. It's so annoying. All right, that was like a 32 minute break right there. Just to get some Dunkin' Donuts. I got a bacon, egg, and cheese, and I got some hash browns. Ooh, ooh, I'm about to grub. <laughs> Moab, Utah for the night. I got the semi street parking oh, that I always pass by here. I always see a semi truck parked here, but I never got to sleep here. Um, this hotel would, would come in clutch if they allowed dogs, but they don't. So I definitely would have stayed there, but they don't allow puppies. So I'm gonna sleep in my truck. And uh, I went and ate at that Mexican place right there, right down the street. And they do have a market right across the street that I might go shopping, see if they got some doggy food because I'm running out of doggy food. But yeah, this is awesome. Even though I'm not doing anything fun here, but uh, it's just nice to say that I slept in Moab, <laughs> But I'm just gonna let the doggies out and um Whoo it's cold here. I'm gonna let the doggies out and I lay in my truck watching TV and I uh, get some rest. It's like a 10 hour break here. Are we in Moab, Utah, you guys? Are we in Moab, Utah, Are we in Moab, Utah? Huh? Oh my goodness! I never been to Moab, Utah before. You smell the grass here. Yeah. Good morning, guys. Just woke up in Moab, and we are jaywalking, people. <laughs> what a beautiful, beautiful morning in Moab. Parked right in front of a hotel. You know they love it. You know they love it. <laughs> I'm recording me jaywalking, and there's a cop coming. <laughs> Sorry, officer. But I am crossing the street to go see if this grocery store has a bathroom. I see they have a Starbucks on the outside of the building. So that's always good news. I love me some coffee. Love me some good coffee. So I'm about to head in, use the restroom, and maybe pick up some dog food. And I jaywalk back. shower um this three pack was like $8.99 so I don't know if that's cheaper than the truck stops but oh well I got it are you excited it's just the same dog food it's the same I made it to the Route 66 Casino. I might take a 34 here. I'm pretty sure it's what I might do. But as you can see, my tandems are now open. They, um, I was having an issue with my tandems, trying to close them in Oregon. I opened them because I was in Cali. I didn't know that my trailer was broken. It has a broken, <coughs> there should be a handle. <coughs> oh shoot, sorry. There should be a handle right here. 
so I can put it up in slide mode and down to normal ride and um, this made it to where my co-worker had to come help me out but that made it to where my co-worker had to come out and um, help me at the casino he had to hold this in so my pins would stay pushed out and um because they were just coming they were going in and they were coming back out because this knob was broken so uh i was just running the scales because <laughs> i was most definitely overweight with my tandems closed with this uh load about three four thousand overweight my dad said so uh that's not good do not do that um because it is your fault it would be my fault if i got caught um but uh thank god i had somebody to come out here and help me hold that in so i could sli open up my tandem so i wouldn't be overweight anymore but this trailer does need to be repaired i think if something as minor as just the handle part being broken i should be able to get fixed at a loves or a speed car whatever so uh Oh, it's freezing out here. I don't have a jacket on. But yeah, I am at the casino in Albuquerque now. Probably gonna take 134, so I'm gonna end this video here. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And uh, <laughs> you guys are stupid. Get out of the way. Another thing, another thing I've been forgetting to tell people is I have an Instagram um so i'm gonna start promoting that on here because i noticed i haven't been promoting my instagram um i have an instagram big rig becca uh just big rig becca no underscores no nothing so make sure you guys go ahead and drop me a follow on there and uh see you guys peace